we've already voted it on it to, to eliminate it. I mean, so unless somebody up here is going to change their mind between now and then, it's just a formality of going through the process. So we might as well just bring it back to the council. That in concurring with everything you're saying, however, we do have an existing motion on the floor to adopt the ordinance. A second motion after that would be appropriate. And I do think it is important, despite all the concerns we've raised, that we go forward on the original ordinance in case somebody does file for a PUD, <coughs> so we include the 3,000 plus the 200 per unit fee, which could happen at any time. Um, so we'll get back to that Great. comment, Alderman Ptolemy, if you don't mind. Uh, Alderman Wesley. All right, now I'm really confused here. This is on the table now for a motion to approve this. That's correct. Well, the not, motion is to adopt the ordinance. All right, now, is. I'm, now I'm hearing that it's gotta go. No, to, to modify the existing ordinance we're asking you to approve tonight, that would need to go back to the zoning committee to waive the court reporter fees and to adjust it. Okay, thank okay. you. Alderman Shockey. I thought there was also discussion about uh, whether we had to have a lawyer at the zoning board meetings uh, unless the, it was required because of a PUD or something that Roger uh, thought it was necessary that because of the news that recent changes in the zoning laws that I talked about earlier, it's so plain and simple, it is televised, so we have a complete record of it. Is it uh, isn't that something we we're talking about as well? Uh, yes, it is. And traditionally, the uh, city attorney did not staff uh, zoning board of appeals meetings. Uh, that was added um, the last two years of Mr. Townsend's, I believe, uh, term. Uh, and Mr. Zimmerman started attending. To uh, at that time, we felt the ZBA was going a little bit off the uh, the ranch, and that they needed a little bit of a guidance. Uh, but that is strictly a determination of the uh, manager, and if he chooses not to assign the attorney uh, to those meetings in the future, it will not be done. So if there's something, if, it, if it's going to be simple cases, it won't be necessary. And I think Thank the intent you. is if there is a major development that they would, they the would. assistance of the attorney would be helpful. Thank you. Now we're on adoption of the ordinance. Anything further? Roll call. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Subak? Yes. Alderman Knight? Yes. Alderman Pizek? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Wesley? Yes. Alderman Ptolemy? Yes. That passes ordinance 0-06-64. Alderman Ptolemy, do you have an additional motion? Yeah, I'd like to send the ordinance back to uh, to the BZ and D or uh, for the November 20th meeting. No, no, no. I'm sorry. ZBA, ZBA meeting. But you're not sending this ordinance Not back. the ordinance. The issue, I'd like to make a motion to send the issue of eliminating the court reporter back to the ZBA meeting of November 20th and then bring it back to the City Council on December 7th. Is there a second? second. On the question. Excellent. Uh, Alderman Knight. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we do need an executive session tonight for purposes of review of the official minutes, a land disposition, uh, personnel, and pending litigation pursuant to uh, 5 ILCS 120-2C21, 2C5, 2C2, and 2C11. May I have a motion to adjourn the City Council to executive session. Is there a second? Second. Roll call. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Subak? Yes. Alderman Knipe? Yes. Alderman Pizek? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Wesley? Yes. Alderman Talamay? Yes. That passes.